be in that place where we're willing to accept. The Bible says the first shall be last. Yes. And the last shall be first. We have to understand that. Um, see, the part with it is being first and being last. He said the first, those who were first shall be last. Those who were last will become first. So those who've been last, you say it's my time. It's my time. <laughs> see, God is going to do this. So watch this now. Devil, I don't have time to go there, but the whole truth is giving me this to share with you. There was a man who had a vineyard. And he hired people who started at 6 o'clock in the morning. Watch this. And uh, he went to town, up to the village, and said, in the village, and there were some people standing on the corner. He asked, why are you all busy? Why aren't you doing something? And uh, they said, nobody hired us. He said, then go to my field mm -hmm. and, and, and work with the other guys, and then uh, I'll take care of you. That was, I guess, I'm paraphrasing 9 o'clock, someone at 10 o'clock, someone at 12 o'clock, someone at 5 o'clock, and I guess they knew the day was 6 o'clock. So he told the woman, he said, call all the higher hands and let me take them. So he started, watch this, he started with the last. <laughs> he started with the bigger place this time. He started with those who came in and he said, take them first. Tell them about to get paid first. <laughs> so when he paid them, when he paid them, the same amount he paid those that worked 12 hours, they got upset. They got upset, said, we should, they thought they should receive more because they were at home. I'm here to tell you, God is so awesome. Those who started late will be the same thing they were talking God has no respect of person. And the owner, the guy, one of the guys protested. He said, now, we should get more because we didn't know what to do. He said, did not I agree with you to pay your daily wages? He says, do I not have the right to do what I want with my own? Somebody say, it belongs to God. It belongs to God. The favor belongs to me. See, the last should be first and the first should be last. So those who started last will get the same thing of those who started first. Watch this. It's the same thing in the gospel. Yes, yes, yes. It's the same thing in the gospel. It's so different. You just have to catch revelation of this thing. I said, wow, look at that. See, God will show you that. I remember once I had a dream of our brother mine. And we were out and we were yelling and pumped. And he had just came into the church and he got a lot of fun. I said, You just came, you can't have all of that. And it came to the period, the last. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's going to be first, and they're going to get the same reward you get. Mm -hmm. Another emphasis when David and the people was at the group B, so they were too tired to go over there and fight the battle. They said, uh, Son, stay here and watch the stuff, tear here with the stuff. And as they tear it with the stuff, the other men went on in the battle, and they won them when they came back. The Bible said the evil men, I wish I had time to go over there and that. <laughs> the evil men said they didn't go over, so they don't get what we get. We get more than them. Watch this. They set the record for whole history. Yeah. Yeah. And it's still set today. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. those who tear out of stuff. Yeah. Those who didn't go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They will get the same thing as those who went on and fought. Yeah. And that's the self. We all get the same. The main thing is that I came. I came. <laughs> you, you know, sometimes I say, a right heart would think that ain't fair. Yeah, I mean, a bad heart would think that's not fair. But it is. It is. It's, it's God doing his own. He's not going to cut in God's choice. See, nobody feels in God's place. You stay there until you get it. I'm telling you, the last shall be first. First. She'll be last. So you set yourself up for God knows what he's doing. He could be purging you in this moment. Yes. And you may feel like you're a little late getting there. But no, you are right in the time. You are right in the time. You're in the place where you're supposed to be at the right time. I am to verse 1 again. I am the true vine. And my father is the husband. Every branch of me that bears not fruit, he takes away. Every branch that bears fruit, he purges it, that it may bring forth more fruit. So there's a reason for your delay. Don't ever despise delay. Don't despise delay. There's a reason. There's a purpose. There's something God is protecting you from. I remember one time, you just go, and I told you many times, I will continue to tell you. <laughs> I was in Chicago when I was working, and I was stopped by a cousin of mine, a place where he was working, and when I got ready to go, I went out, and I got the keys to put in the truck, I heard the Holy Spirit say, clearly, don't go right now. Wait. I didn't know what why. I just kind of leaned around, talked for a little while on, and after a while, I got in my truck and I drove off. And when I got to this main intersection, there was a terrible accident right before me. 
the people were just getting out of the car. Don't you know that Delta had that plan for me? Somebody said, but I did not despise the lady. I did not despise the lady. I did not despise the lady. They told me to wait. I waited. See, sometimes people want to do it when they want to do it, but you don't have to listen for the Holy Spirit. My wife and I were discussing about when Jesus, they was getting ready to go to the celebration in Jerusalem, and his brothers and sisters said, come on and go with us. He said, no, you go ahead on, I'm not going, my time has not yet come. We were discussing the fact that why did he tell them he wasn't going, and then he went. I said to her, I said, I get revelation out of that. He said, I only do what my father tells me to do, or what I see my father do. At that time, his father had not spoken to him. And he waited. Mm -hmm. And then, apparently, his father told him to go. And he went. See, there is, there is a revelation in everything. We just have to slow down and get the small things out of us. God has spoken yet. Even when, when, when the same thing happened with his mother when they went to the wedding of Cana at Galilee. She said, they ran out of wine. He said, for what do I have to do to be one of my time is not yet. Mm -hmm. And she turned and said, whatever he tell you to do, come on, do, do it. it. And right away, his first miracle took place. He don't do it until his father said, do it. I'm introducing to you today. If God don't tell you to do it, don't be so kind. Mm -hmm. Just wait. Mm -hmm. If it's for you to do, he'll speak to you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes our own generosity puts us ahead of God. Yes, yes. It wasn't his will for you. Yes. See, sometimes we wonder, why did that happen like that? Well, the father didn't give you uh, a right to do it. Yeah. We have to wait. So I'm telling you this morning, do not despise delay. Mm -hmm. Don't despise wait on it. Let him do what he want to do. Because see, there's many times, I wanted to help because I wanted to be kind to them, but it did the Father's will. Yeah. Jesus said, I don't want to do it But my soul says, which my Father tell me to do, or what I see him do. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Verse 3. Now ye are clean through the word, which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, stay in him, stay in that word. And I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, you can't do it on your own. Except it abide in the vine. No more can ye except ye abide in me. He said, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abides in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth come. Much true. For without me, you can do nothing. You're going to have to listen to God. Listen to God, and whatever he tells you to do, do it. That's when your victory comes. See, sometimes we can get ahead of God. But you really, you'll never, I don't know, I'll really be a day behind. Yeah, yeah. I'm just checking ahead. Yeah, yeah. But we're going to stay right there where he is so I can receive the protection that I'm supposed to have. Yeah. Go down to verse 8. Here's where we stopped at last week. He said, Here he is, my father glorified, that he bear what? Much fruit. So shall he be my disciples. See, as a disciple of Christ, the word disciple also comes from the word disciple is discipline. Yes, yes. You're going to have to be disciplined. You're going to have to be disciplined. Because see, in being disciplined, you're following the Father. You're becoming a disciple. You're being trained to be a disciple. Sometimes uh, you take the ministry gifts. People come and they, they just now get started in this thing. They want to introduce who they are. I always tell them, let it be confirmed. Mm -hmm. Have a seat. Mm -hmm. God will do what he needs to do. And through you. Just, just, just wait on it. So you can't just take it and run off with it. There's training that must, must take place mm -hmm. for you to be able to bear fruit. You can't just jump out there and do it on your own. Allow Him to work with you and through you and watch what you become. Yes. The enemy don't want you to see it that way. So you're going to have to slow down and listen to God, listen to God, and whatever He tells you to do, do it. Look at John chapter 14. And let us look at verse 21. You know this is one of my favorite scriptures. John chapter 14 and verse 21. We should all be quoting that instead of reading it now. <laughs> Most of us anyway. How? <clears throat> he that had my command and keepeth it, he and he that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him, and I will manifest myself to him. People say, well, no man can see God in him. Well, that's not exactly what he's talking about here. He said, if you do these things, whatever you believe before will manifest. Yes. And then when you see what you believe for, you see in him. Uh, Philip said to him, uh, show us the Father. He said, have I been so long time with you? And you still don't know who I am? He said, in other words, he said, hey, if you don't believe me, Philip, 
Believe in heaven works. When you see the works, who else can do it? Nobody else. Amen. Amen. So we have to be in that place where we keep his command yes. and do it yes. and watch God manifest every time. We got to be willing to follow. And sometimes, saints, this trail, this walk gets lonely. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to tell you what that lonely is. That's a call. That's God drawing you closer mm -hmm. to him. See, it's time you, you, you feel neglected at night with all the things around you and all the people around you. That's God calling you to Him. Mm -hmm. You get off the say, Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Get in His Word, read, do something, pray. That's Him calling you because He hears where He strengthens you in the moments when He calls you. We cannot do it when we get ready. We have to do it when He calls you. Mm -hmm. uh, some people do things a little different, and I, I have no problem with that. I, I, I know it's a uh, over in Acts chapter 10, Cornelius said he was praying about 3 o'clock in the evening. Mm -hmm. Now you read in the Bible what it also says, and he who seek me early shall find me. So God has a relationship with all of us, and our relationship will be different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your work time might be at 3 o'clock in the day, you can't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what you got what I'm saying? So there's a different time with everybody. It doesn't mean that it works for me because I do it like somebody else does. Mm -hmm. I have a personal relationship. You have a personal relationship. Work your relationship. When you says God is calling you to that, do it. Yes. Don't be afraid of it. I have to follow that church. I have to follow that church. No, we all have personal relationship with them as we need to. The Bible says many who are led by the Spirit of God, they are come on, the sons of God. So we're not all led in the same direction, but we're all in the way of Christ. Yes. So your path may be a little different from mine, which may be no different from you, but you're no different from me. We all just brothers in Christ. So we have to make sure that we stay in that place. Let me read that one more time. He that have my commandments or my word and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. He said, have them and keep them. Meaning when it's time to work the word, work the word. He it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my father. And I will love him, and I will manifest myself to him. So he wants to show you the things that you're believing for, and that's God himself. He wants to manifest these things before you. And some things takes a little longer than other things. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. You take like they told the story, I don't have time to go into it. The dog and the elephant. Mm -hmm. They both were having, you know, the dog had somehow had, I don't remember the whole story, had had three leaves to come before the elephant very first one. And when the dog came to the elephant and said, told him about how many he had brought four, mm -hmm. and the elephant said to him, Yeah, I understand, you brought four for my hero. Well, don't bring four here. We have to yeah. look at this thing. It's not about the size and how many you do. It's about what you bring for. Yeah. It takes more for some things than it do others. Mm -hmm. Listen, it takes more study for some people than it do me. It takes more study for me than it do others. So we're all different. Yeah. We all have different relationships. And God knows what he's calling you to, and that's your will. Yes. You have to stay. Say, I'm going to stay in line. I'm going to stay in line. <laughs> And as you stay in line, men who are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. God knows just what he's doing. You're not behind. You're not late. You're arriving on time. Come on, say amen to that. Amen. amen. Here he is, is my, go back to verse 8 again. 15 and 8. Here he is, my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. Now that's God speaking directly. Jesus speaking here, so as you bear fruit, you're going to know you're his disciple. Watch this. Regardless of how much stuff happened between that and their mm -hmm. you're still his disciple. See, I don't care what you accomplish, the devil wants you to feel like you're not worthy of this. That's true. Yeah. He still wants you to feel down in the pit. But see, that sometimes can be an esteem problem. We have to build ourselves up. He said, You're a royal priesthood, yes. a chosen generation, a peculiar people. And you just have to believe this regardless of what you're surrounded by. It's not about what you are surrounded by and what's going on around you is about what's going on inside of you. Somebody say, I believe. I believe. And that's what we have to do. Yes. You have to believe the word and keep going because the enemy don't want you to accept that because he, he knows if you get this word in you and it begins to, to work, he can't stop you. Amen. He cannot. I don't care. Look at, look at how much trouble he said before the disciples when they were crossing over, but they had received him. And he couldn't stop them. Jesus came to them while they were in the, in the, the, the turmoil part of the, the uh, storm on the sea. And then Jesus said to them, fear not. Yes. Same thing to you when your storm comes in your life. He's saying to you, fear not. I've got you. And the Bible said, when they received him onto their boat, yes. immediately, now they've been going all night. Mm -hmm. And immediately when he got 
chiamano un parte del libro e dico è che ciò vuole essere di so se mi ha tolto now that doesn't mean no other trouble will come but when they do remember fear not God's got you you just got to stay right there because see all the victory that's already been given us the enemy is not going to allow us to just walk right into this There will be a defense. We just have to keep walking in faith. We have to keep trusting God and knowing that He's promised that He's going to carry it out. Go over to John chapter 8. John chapter 8. Look at verse 30. It says here, as he spake these words, many believed on him. Many. He didn't say all. Mm -hmm. It said many believed on him. Verse 31. Then Jesus said to those Jews, come on, which believed on him. Well, he wasn't talking to the rest. He was talking to the one that believed. Say, I receive. I receive. See, when you receive, you believe. Yes, yes. Then Jesus said to those Jews which believed on him, if ye what? Continue. Somebody said, don't quit. Don't, don't, don't hesitate. Don't, don't, don't procrastinate. Don't don't if you continue in my word, then are you my disciplined one indeed. Yes. Or my disciple. So this is what really separates us if we continue. I'm on the right here. If we continue, mm -hmm. regardless of the circumstances, yes. regardless of the situation, if we continue. Yes. Yes. Th there's many reasons I see with my natural eye to stop, but if I continue, yes. Yes. I can't be moved by what I see, what I feel, or what I'm going through, if I continue. Yes. If you continue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you continue. Yes. Yes. If you continue. Victor already belongs to you if you continue. Yes. I said, Victor already belongs yes. to you yes. if you continue. Yes. Yes. See, the enemy wants to stop you. Mm -hmm. Say, no stop us now. Hallelujah. There's no need to stop. Amen. You just got to keep going. The enemy wants you to stop. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said to those Jews who believed on him, if you continue my word, then I need my disciples in need. And you shall know the truth. And the truth shall come, Amen. make you free. Hallelujah. The truth shall what? Amen. Make you free. We're going to have to be in that place where we are willing to continue regardless of the circumstance or the situation. As I said earlier, it's not about, about what's going on around you. It's about what's going on inside of you. It's not the man in the fight. It's the fight that's in the man. you got to be willing to continue. You have to be willing to continue. Now, this is mature teaching now. Yes. This is what, I mean, this is what a rubber meets the road. This is when you've got your mind made up, I'm going to enter into the rest. Yes. Yes. I'm going to enter into the rest. This is where you've got to deal with this. And you should know the truth, and the truth just make you free. Make, make, make means to create. Mm -hmm. To create. I, I, I cannot, what, what I have right now, It's not quite working for me, but I'm going to make it happen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to create it. How I'm going to create it? The same way my father did. Somebody said, with words. With words. So you've got to take the word and work. Yes, yes. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. He believed with his heart. He said, with a heart, man believed it. With a mouth, he said it. Yes. He's speaking. So you've got to be willing to speak your way out of any situation that you find yourself in. The word works, people. The Bible says, call those things to be not as though they were. So words work. Yes. When I speak these words, I'm making, I'm creating. Why? Because I'm my father's son. Yes. God is creating. We are his children. If the father can do it, come on, we can do it. Jesus said, I only do those things which come on. I see and hear my father say. Yes. Yes. So if God said it, so be it. In the book of Genesis, everything God did, he did it with words. The Bible said the world was created, come on, with words. He's given us the same power that he had. We have to just believe it and say it. Keep speaking. Calling those things to be not as though they were. Making, creating, just saying. Because yeah. I tell you, I've been in many situations where it didn't look like I was going to come out. But I'm not moved by what I see. Yeah. I'm going to continue because I believe what he said to me is true. Yeah. I believe and I know he cannot let me down. Yeah. But 
they said he'd never fail, he never lost the case yet, yet he'd be removed from it. Yeah, and still he can't lose. Yeah. Losing is not in him. No. See, without him, and John, we just read, we could do nothing. Without him, we would be nothing. It's in him that we live and move, come on, and have our being. We have to keep trusting, and as we keep trusting, we'll see God move. We'll see God move in situations you say, why? Why? We're giving the glory. <laughs> Don't touch it. Give him the glory. Because it's all him. Because without him, you couldn't do it. So we have to just keep trusting in him. Verse 33. They answered him, We be Abraham's seed, and were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, ye shall be made free? Jesus answered them, very, very, a truly, truly, I say unto you, whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin. And the servant abideth not in the house of hell, but the son, come on. Abide in hell. Because I'm the son. I'm the son. <laughs> <laughs> See, watch this. Jesus was sent to abolish sin. And he did. He did, but we, he's the son. We should brought to him, we'll co labor with him, what he had. He said, My works come on. And greater works you must do, but I must go with the Father. He gave it to us. Mm -hmm. Look at verse 36. If the Son therefore shall make you free, come on. You shall be free indeed. Listen, sin will not take you out of your own life. See, the Apostle Paul said, What I would. I wouldn't. And what I wouldn't, I would. He was saying, what I try to do, when I try to do right, then wrong is always before me. That's a choice, people. And he said, when I would, I wouldn't. Because he said, I find out that there's another law in my memory. It's the law of sin. Sin is a law. And the wages of sin, come on, is death. The way of righteousness is, come on, eternal life. Yeah. So we have to accept it for what it is. And not allow sin to rule over us. See, you, you, you say you get filled with the Holy Spirit, and I don't care what comes on you, it will not just come in and invade you. Does it? If the Holy Spirit will warn you, he'll tell you, don't go down there. Yeah. Don't do this. Don't do that. Now, the choice is in consequence. The choice you make is in consequence of your sin. So you have to make up your mind. Uh -huh. See, here's the thing. When that thought comes to your mind, don't allow, allow it to dazzle in your head. Cast that thought down. The Bible says, cast it down every thought and every imagination that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. You know this is wrong. That's the knowledge of God. Then you allow this thought to, to dazzle in your brain, in your mind, because the mind is the battlefield. And then this thought is simply, every thought is simply a word. The word is the seed. And if that thought is bad, it gives in your heart, your heart produces that. So that's why you have to cast that thought down. Luke 8, 11 says that the seed is the word of God. Yes. Now, if the thought become words and give in your heart, the heart is going to produce because that's your soul. So you have to cast, that, cast down every imagination, every evil thought that exalts itself against the Lord. Cast it down. Don't let it play around in your head. Don't keep thinking of it. Because you, you listen, you you married when somebody says something to you, you didn't cut them off. You're contemplating. Yes, yes. Unaware, you're contemplating. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The law is on the mm -hmm. So why don't you let something else you you bombard that? You don't give place to the end. Yeah, Amen. You'll be in the store, just use a simple thing. Mm -hmm. and, and you don't have enough to give what you want. And your coat is big. <laughs> you get what I'm saying. <laughs> You, you know it's a law. Yes. It's a law. <laughs> they catch you and you and your co focus. <laughs> I'm just saying we have to abide in him. Amen. And he is not in us. Amen. And we can do all things yes. through Christ yes. who strengthened us. I'm yes. telling you something. We yes. gotta work this word in a way where the enemy cannot have sin cannot have dominion over us. Sin shall not reign over you. Somebody said, yeah, but it just came over me. Yeah, now you thought about it too long. Yes, you really said like that you thought wrong too long. Yes, yes, yes. And that thing grew. Mm -hmm. And when it grew, it exploded. It's almost like, it's almost like a married couple 
every time something happened, they just kind of sweep it under the rug. One day, everything in the rug is going to come out after you. Yeah. And see, that's when the voice begins to, you get what I'm saying? Somebody said, work it out. Work it out. Whatever it is, work it out when it comes up. Don't, the Bible says, don't let the sun go down when you're around. So we have to work the word. If we don't work the word, the end is going to work us. Yes, yes. Somebody said, I'm not here. I'm not here. It's victory time. It's harvest time. Yes, Lord. It's time. Yes. The Bible said the whole world. See, people want to see. They've been going to that church all that time. And still yes. ain't did that. They're waiting to see what you're going to do. Yes, yes. The Bible said the whole world. Rome. Waiting yes. to see the manifestation of you. Yes. <laughs> they waiting for the manifestation of the Son of God. They want to see what you're going to do with this day. Hallelujah. My mom used to always tell me, son. Don't let this say that your part wasn't done. Yeah. Listen, if you do your part, yeah. heaven has to provide. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, this thing brings a joy on me. Yeah. Heaven has to move. Yeah. Heaven has to provide if you do your part. See, uh, my pastor's been teaching on the, uh, the fourth dimension. You make it happen. You make the fourth dimension manifest. Yeah. If you don't do nothing to get heaven happen, mm -hmm. see, when Peter got on the water, that was the fourth dimension. Mm -hmm. But Peter had to get out of self. And let the fourth man work. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Or Robert called the message, the fourth man in the fight. <laughs> if they had to win, he would have shown up. Lord have mercy. Yes, yes. You, you gotta get this thing for what it is and stop complicating. Yes, yes, yes. It's something. You're the fourth man. You cause the fourth dimension to happen. As you act on it, it's gonna manifest every time. We gotta be in this place where we open up. Yes. Trust God for all we have. And watch what happens. Yes. Man, this thing is great. Yes. Yes. It gives me great joy. Yes. 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 It yes. 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 fulfills my day, my life. Mm -hmm. I mean, because I, I see the hands of God at all times. Yes. All the time. I see Him change from day to day, moment to moment, hour to hour. I see this thing manifest. Yes. And you got to get this so you can enter into the rest. You don't want the rest of God. You want the best of God. Yes. The most of God. You want the best. You want yes. God's best. And sometimes when we experience some things, I said, I said, I told my wife, I said, no, 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 no. This is not God's best for us. This is not his best. See, Cain and Abel, Abel gave his best. And it provoked jealousy. And so we said, it looked like they had an army at each other. Abel was a manifestation. And he called it to happen. And I like to mention about it. It wasn't what he gave. It was what he believed about what he gave. He believed that he gave God his best. Come on. He was going to receive the best. And watch his brother being jealous. Mm -hmm. He saw it. Yes. He could have did it too. Yes. He had the same right to give his best. But he just brought God what he had left. You know, sometimes people get ready to give away something. Uh, I never was a well-known preacher for calling the name. You were normal. So God told him to, to give this man his suit he had. Mm -hmm. And he said it was a nice suit. He did his favorite suit. So he, he didn't want to let go of that suit. So he said, the man, he invited the man over to the house. God told him to give you a suit. The man came, he said, he went to the closet and got in the suit with that suit. Gave him that. Mm -hmm. Gave him that suit. Then he felt so guilty, he went, got another suit, but he didn't give him that suit. He gave him another suit. He went five times. He gave away five times. And God said, I get the one I told you to <laughs> I'm telling you, we, we got to be willing to give our best to yes, God. Yes, if yes, you expect your best, you have to give your best. See, yes. I'm going to tell you something about me. I get the opportunity. I get the opportunity to do what I want to do. I, I'm going to do it because I know if I, if I, now watch this, I'm going to put above now. But if I do all the more you give, just keep on giving. See, this takes me back when I was in the morning and yes. sang in church. Yes. The more you give, yes. just keep on giving. Yes. You, you, this is it. I, I didn't understand. I used to sit in the class hanging around with that. Then you'd have all the words, right? But I understand it now. <laughs> yes. If the old saying used to say, you understand it now. Don't uh, tell you, man, I'm in that place of understanding right now. Yes. And there's no better place to be in the place of understanding. But I've been all I get. Yes. The wisdom is the key. Yes. The wisdom is the crystal thing. Yes. But in all, watch this, but in all I get, get yes. an understanding. Yeah. Understanding is the organization. Let me tell you, the understanding is organization. Yes. Yes. Jesus said, the more you read his word, the more understanding you'll get. Mm -hmm. And when you get these understanding,
understanding, you'll understand that I, I, I really, I, I, I can't afford to do this, but I understand according to the students, if I do it, it's gonna cause me to be catapulted to another level. You gotta have understanding. Yes, yes. You see, sometimes understanding won't take place, we won't let understanding do it. <laughs> let it have a way. Yes. Wisdom. Uh, yeah. Wisdom. Uh, wisdom is knowledge stored up, but if you don't use the knowledge, that will become wisdom. So we gotta come into that place where we open up and let God yes. be God. Yes. More of Him yes. and less of me. Yes. I pray that you did yes. yourself tonight. Yes. 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 If there's anyone out there today who will never accept Jesus and Lord, the and Savior, you'd like to feel free to do so by repeating this prayer after you. Dear Lord, yes. you know my life, yes. you know how I live. Yes. I ask you to forgive me. I to forgive me. That I receive forgiveness unto myself. I and I forgive all of them who need forgiveness on my behalf. I believe. I believe that Jesus died on the third day. The third day. God raised him from the dead. He is my new Lord and Savior. And I thank you, Lord, for saving me. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. Amen. If you went through that prayer, whole heaven is rejoicing with you. The Bible says, when one soul is saved, whole heaven rejoices. So, what we would like you to do is give us a call. We have a packet of information we'd like to get out to you by dialing 601. 845-6095-601-845-6095. We have a packet of information we'd like to get out of you. Also, if you'd like to give, you can give online, click the link in the comment section. If you give your text, text GNCC and the amount you want to give is 73256. 73256. And while you're preparing your time and offering, I want to go ahead and bless them. Father, we thank you, and I'm going to return every time. We ask that our offering be acceptable, oh God. And as we sow our seed, we yield to you, Holy Spirit, to show us the way yes. to enter into your works. Yes. And we'll receive God's best. Yes. In Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. 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 Praise God again. Listen, before you go today, I want to bless you. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. Yes. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. In Jesus' name. Now, as we leave this place, but not your presence, I commission the angels to watch over every person to keep them safe from all their harm and danger. I pray that you have about them, and I preach the blood over them. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And always, until we meet again, God bless you and remain there.